Police in the Fort Worth suburb of Benbrook are looking for the people responsible for breaking into dozens of vehicles at the same apartment complex. It happened two nights in a row. Some of the victims only suffered some broken glass, but others had electronics and even firearms stolen. Fox Force Peyton Yeager spoke to a couple who says that their truck was actually targeted twice. Peyton. Yes, Heather and Benbrook investigators are looking through surveillance video right now, trying to identify the suspects. They tell me when the suspects came back for the second evening, they barely got away from police officers. Meanwhile, people who live at the complex are wondering if they will come back for a third time tonight. I was like, there's no way they hit me twice back to back nights. Because uh, I figured they knew there's nothing in the truck. Why come back? Wednesday afternoon, Patrick Holt just got home from getting his back window repaired for the second time in 24 hours. He and his wife, Stephanie, were woken up Wednesday morning by Benbrook police. And they said, I know it's 3 a.m. Sorry to wake you up. You got hit again. Holt had his truck broken into twice while parked outside his Benbrook apartment near I-20 and Highway 377. First, early Tuesday morning, and then the thief came back again early Wednesday. Nothing was taken from Holt's truck, but for his fellow tenants, firearms were taken along with electronics and other valuables. There's a white car over there with the yeah. saran wrap over there. Wednesday's rain caused people to hang up trash bags to protect their vehicles. Benbrook police confirmed a Fox 4 nearly two dozen vehicles were hit over the two nights. When the thieves came back the second time Wednesday morning, officers tried to intercept the suspects. Instead, there was a chase and police lost them. No arrests were made. Investigators are now looking through surveillance video handed over by apartment management. I contacted the manager. In an email to tenants, Aura Benbrook says police will provide extra patrols. Plus, it's planning to hire private security. The Holtz now wondering if the suspects will be back again. This would be the third night and I'm hoping it, it doesn't happen again. And we reached out to the apartment complex ourselves to ask some questions, but we never heard back. And when I was talking to Benbrook PD over the phone today, they really just reiterated to not keep firearms in your vehicle overnight and to bring them inside. Heather? Got it. All right. Peyton Yeager, thank you.